This month, we look at the new Mito Red Light Mito Pro 4.0. It's got eight wavelengths in it. There's also a really cool new mask from Current Body. Huger have launched a great priced blazer helmet. Red Light Rising have a really powerful target device. And there's a fascinating study on red light therapy for autistic children. I'm affiliated with some of the companies mentioned in this video and I will earn a commission if you buy through my links or discount codes. Products were provided to me free of charge and all opinions are my own. This is not medical advice. All right, so let's get started with those new products. Yeah, first up, Mito Red Light have launched their Mito Adapt 4.0. Now this panel has eight wavelengths. It's got the 590 amber, which they've had in previous panels. It's got 630, 660 and 670 red. You then have 810, 830, 850 and 940 nanometer near infrared. Now this 940 near infrared is, it's a unique wavelength. We haven't seen a, a lot in uh, either the research or products. So it is something that my team and I will look into. Stay tuned on the Light Therapy Insiders newsletter uh, where we will put out some content on that. And not only does this panel have all of these wavelengths, it has some new smart modes, the nice touchscreen design that was seen across the board, and it's using dual chip LEDs. So look, I will be reviewing this in time, so be sure to subscribe for that. Now, if you wanna learn more about this product, I'll put a link to it down below, as well as all the products and articles I talk about in this video. Now again, Chroma have launched this new Radiance device. I wanna spend a bit more time on this device because it is quite fascinating, especially after spending the last six months looking at red light therapy masks, because this device is designed as a skin rejuvenation beauty device. It's designed to compete with the masks. It's putting out red light in 630 and 660. It's got the near infrared 810 nanometers, and it's also got a 405 nanometer violet wavelength. Uh, I don't know too much about the 405. I know 415, 430 is good for the bacteria, acne. So I'm assuming there's similar benefits here. Now these devices are quite powerful so it means you can do a full face treatment in one or two minutes is this potentially too powerful overloading the skin in one short burst i'd have to test it and, and look into the research on this but in theory it does sound great it is a handheld device but it is corded it's not battery powered of course it's not portable it's it's very different to a mask but for a home user who just wants something you can treat the face in a very short session is quite attractive another thing that's quite attractive is the price you can get this for under 300 us dollars so for what you're getting it's really good value links and discount code are also down below now current body have yet again updated their mask line they now have a new multi-light mask and it's got six different wavelengths in it let me run through them all. There's a few here. We've got blue and 415, green and 532, yellow and 490, red and 633, near infrared and 830, and then a deeper penetrating near infrared and 1072. Yeah, they've got a lot in there, 566 LED chips. Uh, it's got the built-in chin strap. I really do like this soft shell, but semi-molded design. Uh, check out my review of the current body can't even remember what it's called the other current body mask they've got a lot of them now so yeah i think this is a really good upgrade it is expensive though like big money so look I, again i think there's a discount code down down there so check that out use that for sure and i'll get my hands on one to review and add to the mask shopping tool speaking of the mask shopping tool if you haven't seen that already it is really cool it's nearly complete in terms of all the masks i've reviewed so there's a lot of information in there i'll put a link down to a mask buyer's guide and the shopping tool that's down below check it out now huger have come out with a new laser hair helmet it has 96 class 2 lasers putting out 650 nanometer red again this is specifically for hair growth so red light is best here and it's pretty well priced for a laser device under 500 dollars that's before any discounts finally red light rising the uk company they have come out with a new target device this thing is very 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 powerful they're claiming it's 400 milliwatts at six inches which is nuts like i mean that's it's crazy sort of numbers it's more powerful than the iron forge chroma that i tested a while ago so yeah i would have to test this myself to see if those numbers are true still though it looks good uh but it is expensive and it's probably better suited for someone with a very serious or chronic issue maybe you know back pain that's flaring up all the time or you're a serious athlete or something like that but um yeah it looks good finally not really a new product but uh, i did want to mention this vlight are doing a neuroscience of meditation summit it's happening very soon october the 24th in toronto canada uh, i believe though there is also an online 
uh, option as well, a virtual option. So I'll put links to that down below. Check it out. Hey, did you know I do these videos once a month? Uh, it's pretty cool, right? So hit the subscribe button. But saying that YouTube subscription numbers don't really matter these days. The best way to stay up to date with all things red light therapy, whether it's products, science, events, comparisons, buyers guides, all that cool stuff is actually through the Light Therapy Insiders newsletter. We send out content rich newsletters covering all this and a lot more uh, on a regular basis. So check it out. It's better than being subscribed on YouTube. I'll tell you that for free. So as for new articles this month, I've only got one. Uh, it's from Four Lasers. They have just put out a review of their Nova Thor on an athlete with an ACL tear. And even after just one session, there was a big change. So uh, check out that article. The problem with the articles these days is a lot of them are, how do I put it politely? They're, they're kind of junk, right? They, a, a lot of them are just using AI tools to generate them. Not that that's bad. I mean, I personally use AI for a lot of research topics and you get some amazing content from there. But it's, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. They just, you sort of skim through them and you think, nah, it's not great. So, uh, look, I, I'm going to be a little bit more particular with the articles I share. But, hey, I'd love to hear your feedback. If you guys have liked the four or five tabloidy sort of articles that I've uh, shared in the past. Let me know. I'll keep doing it. Otherwise, in the meantime, <laughs> we put out some really good content over at Light Therapy Insiders, another plug, another shout out, uh, and we don't use AI. My team and I spend a lot of time researching and writing these articles. And yeah, there's a lot of good stuff over there. So check them out. Uh, one that just went up recently was on fertility and red light therapy. So links are down below. Okay, now we look at science. This month's study is titled Transcranial Photobiomodulation in Children Aged 2 to 6 Years. Now this was a small randomized clinical trial so the background is a lot of uh, pilot studies have suggested that transcranial photobiomodulation this is red light ther therapy on the head through the brain could help with neurological conditions such as depression tbi or autism so this study tested 30 kids aged between two and six with autism and they were using a small headset unit that was putting out 850 nanometer light pulsed at 40 hertz. They did two six minute sessions per week over eight weeks. Now the results did show that yes, there were improvements in these children. Some children went from mild to moderate autism to normal. EEG scans showed healthier brain activity and parents reported better social interaction, better attention, better behavior. The only reported side effects were some headaches and some overexcitement. So it is very promising. I mean, it's a very small study. I mean, hey, if I had an autistic child and I saw this, I would be, be looking into this study and I'd definitely be looking into transcranial devices for my child, of course work with a specialist, uh, work with a doctor, um, you know, be careful, especially when it comes to the brain. Uh, you know, my child had epilepsy. We used red light therapy for him. That was under the guidance of an experienced specialist. I've covered this in the past. As much as I had read and heard about the promising things uh, around red light therapy, photobiomodulation and seizures, I was, you know, it's, it's a, it was my three-year-old son, you know, of course, you're going to be very careful. You're going to tread carefully and um, you don't want to mess with someone's brain. So don't just rush out and buy a device and switch it on and, and hope for the best. Be careful with this. Uh, but it does look promising, especially given the side effects are very, very low. If you don't know where to go, if you don't know where to start, I do recommend reaching out to V-Lite, uh, Violet v -Lite, the Canadian-based company. I've interviewed them, their founder and CEO before, some of their team members. I've done a lot of reviews on their products over the years. They specialize in this area, not necessarily autistic children, but transcranial photobiomodulation devices. That's their thing. That's what they do. They even have a clinic. Reach out to them if you do want to know more about this or at least get a starting point. Of course, you can jump into our Facebook group and again, search our website because we have covered more on this topic in the past. Okay, so this month's question goes, Alex, I've been watching all of your mask videos. I love them. Uh, one big difference though is between the form factor of the mask. You have what I call soft shell masks. These are the flexible, foldable, silicon molded ones or well, then you have these hard shell ones harder plastic uh lot, a lot bulkier what do you recommend okay so this is a really really good question and unfortunately i don't really know uh what is the best it really depends the best in what way uh in terms of comfort i think the soft shell silicon ones are better because if it's a hard shell one that's molded and it doesn't quite fit with your face there's going to be 
pressure points, whereas you don't really get that with the soft shell ones. However, some of the hard shell masks sit off the face, so then it's not so much of an issue. But then some of the masks that do sit off the face, such as the Therabody Theraface, uh, they're very heavy and bulky. And my wife, for instance, found it quite uncomfortable to wear. So from a comfort side, there's that. There's a practicality side. Are you planning on traveling with it? Do you want to carry it around with you day to day? Uh, in which case, the soft shell one is going to be much more appealing because it's durable, small, lightweight. Again, you look at the Theraface mask, that's bulky. It, it's, it's big. Uh, it's, uh, you don't want to drop it type thing. So you got to factor in that. Uh, price point, typically the harder shell ones are a little bit more expensive. So what's your budget? And then you look at, of course, performance. So that's probably what you're thinking when you ask, what is the best? It's tricky. So from a coverage point of view, the light coverage, the harder shell ones coming off the face are typically better. Well, they are better because that light is spreading. You get a nice even blend and you're probably hitting areas around your lips and eyes and nose that the soft shell on your face masks don't treat, or at least there's big gaps. But you can also get a hard shell mask such as the Cure mask that is it's a hard shell, but it's direct contact on the face. So then you lose some of those benefits that the off the face hard shell masks have. So that's the coverage aspect, which is probably the big key difference between the two. It, it look, it really, really, really does depend on what you want and how you're planning on using it. If you're happy spending five, 10 minutes a day, just relaxing in a chair using this mask, then I'd probably say get a hard shell one and you know you're just going to store it in the drawer next to the chair and use it four or five times a week and you very rarely travel and easy peasy, right? Yeah, then a hard shell one, even if it's bulky, is probably going to be okay because you can just sit there and relax. If you want to use something on the go, you're doing the dishes, you're heading away on work trips every week, uh, you have young kids around the house, then maybe a soft shell silicon one is is better because it's very portable um battery life is great on them easy to pack and yeah it's got the eye openings and you can move around so it really does depend i think if the only goal is performance and results probably hard shell off the face um that's probably the best bet but then you should also consider a panel a small panel which is again off the face good coverage you just sit there five minutes or so and you're getting great coverage and it's good value for money actually even the chroma uh, radiance that i talked about earlier something like that again not great for travel but use it for a minute or two lots of options I, i'm sorry i wish i could just say this is the best easy done move on but as you can tell it's not like that look i recommend just watching all my reviews and um playing around with that mask shopping tool jumping in our Facebook group, doing a search, looking for other people's experiences. Or, and then if you still have doubts, buy something that's got a really good returns policy. So you can buy it, try it. If you don't like it, return it. All right, so what is upcoming on the channel? Well, there's a few more mask reviews to come out. I know there's been so many. I then have my best mask series, though I just said it's hard to find a best one, but I do my best. I have my best devices for travel. And I actually start releasing some of the Black Friday sales that they're dropping very early. It's getting crazy. So that's going to begin. There's going to be three or four videos on this. So definitely stay tuned for that. Again, though, best place to get updated on deals is on our newsletter, like Therapy Insiders. Now, remember, I put out a lot of content on this channel. So maybe you missed my lasers versus LEDs video. Maybe you missed my overview of the mask shopping tool. It's a really good video. Or maybe you missed my review of the spectrometer I use for testing. There's a lot of good videos. Chances are you haven't seen them all. So check one of them out.